Here we are again, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm gonna get closer to the mic. Look at all that snow. Uh, kind of a Wednesdays. Here we go. Uh, this is Good Buddy Sonic Fable. Now I'm going to the store today. We're actually going to the store that I go to. Not like last week where, you know, I had a break. We were supposed to have uh, no school today, but, you know, the school system is stupid at my school, so, you know, whatever. But yeah, I'm here, so I'll get you in a second. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, forgot to press record in the car. So, go, 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 go. It's damn snow. So, yeah, other than having a shitty snow day, we got comics today. Yeah, today there's only two comics. Like I mentioned last week, this week we had Injustice number two, which if you know how I feel about Injustice number one from the first comic book Wednesdays, you'll know how I felt. And then we also had Guardians of the Galaxy point one, which should be good because I don't really know the basis of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so it'll be good for me to get like a definitive uh, representation of what this storyline is going to be like and who these characters are. I know like the character of Rocket Raccoon and like the tree and then the human, but I'm not like a big on the mythos of it, which I really want to get into now because I'm very interested in the new movie that's going to come out. And I believe this is going to help me. This comic is definitely going to be more related towards the comic plus the Nova issue. They, there's a lot of tie-in with the Guardians of the Galaxy. so. And Iron Man's supposed to be a new Guardian of the Galaxy member, and I love the new Iron Man series, so that'll be very interesting. I'm very looking forward to this new series, and uh, yeah, it's either gonna be it's gonna be hard for me to pick this week because I love Injustice number one, and I, I have no doubt about it. Injustice number two is gonna be excellent, no doubt about it. But I don't think it will be as strong as number one. On the other hand, you have Guardians of the Galaxy point one, which is going to be probably great. If it's really, uh, if it's not that good, I'm going to be really upset. Okay, not, no doubt about it. I'm really looking forward to this book, no doubt about it. So, I just hope, you know, you gotta, you gotta hope. I'm hoping really well. So well, anyway, on this nice Wednesday, the February 27th, almost done with February, jeez. It felt like yesterday was just uh, December 22nd. Like, why December 22nd? I'm looking forward to things right now, you know, on this Wednesday. Sure, uh, we had school today for me, but can't do anything about it. School is school, okay? Sure, we had like seven inches of snow on the ground. It's, who cares, you know? It's not like. Not like you can't drive in it or anything. I mean, no big deal. It was hell driving this morning, I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, never move to upper states if you don't like snow. Because if you love snow, you're going to love Michigan. I'll tell you that for sure. Go more towards, like, eh, I don't know. But Michigan is not a good place to go if you're not a big fan of snow. All right, so we're back, and we're, let's look at the comics today. So let's look at Injustice, Gods Among Us number two. It's the Batman versus Superman, so we can really tell shit's going down. I'm very looking forward to the Injustice game. I'm probably going to get the collector's edition and do an unboxing of that. I'm going to go get it through Amazon so I can get it early. I'm very excited. I really am looking forward to this game. This is my most anticipated, and then Bioshock Infinite is my next most anticipated, which is my my other game I'm getting next. So. And yet, the other comic we got... Guardians of the Galaxy point one. So, of course, it looks fantastic, so I can't wait to read this. I can't read, read both. I'm going to come back with a review. I probably, I'm thinking I'm probably not going to do it in the car because I need to remember what the comics are, but I'll read them and then I'll give a review at my house. Alright guys, I think I take it from a different angle than my usual reviews, but we're back. And we got, I read them, and I really, really enjoyed one of them, and I thought one of them was good. You can clearly tell from what I thought in the previous ones what I thought was a really, really good one. So let's start off with Injustice, since I was, this was the first thing I talked about. This takes back from what happened in the first issue, where the Joker 
put a bomb inside Lois Lane and blew and murdered her and then blew up Metropolis. He blew up Metropolis, killed Lois Lane, and Superman was devastated because he thought that it was doomsday. So he is very torn up about it. The Batman's interrogating the Joker currently. And he wants everything. It's just devastating. And you can feel Superman's uh, emotions during this. He's so heartbroken and he just can't control himself. And the end of the book is so... I like the end of the book. I'll tell you that. I did like it. I just, again, like I thought in the previous thing, I didn't just think it was as effective as the first issue was. So, I, I'm going to pick up the next issue definitely because I'm very, very... I really want to know what happens next. Sure, yeah, because there are things that happen in this book that are really... There are things that happen in this book that make you question how are they in the game, really. So, I'm, I'm, we're going to see how that aspect probably comes into it. And next, we have the really, really, really good comic, Guardians of the Galaxy 0.1. I kept calling it point one, zero point one, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. This is the story of the Star-Lord, the kid on the front, and up here, too, technically. But this is his story of how he came to be, and a very interesting story. It's a great introduction for any person who wants to read Guardians of the Galaxy. I found it to be superb to Nova, believe it or not. I think this is probably the best comment of the month, honestly. Because I've been doing this for the month of February, and this is probably the best comic I've read. This is... It's heartfelt, there's emotion, you feel devastation. It kind of opens on the same note Nova did too, but at the same time it didn't. It's more flashback, but you get to see where the story is going. Sure, you don't get to see enough more of the other characters, but hey, you get to see Iron Man at the end, I'll tell you that. So, I really did enjoy this book a lot, and it's my number one pickup for the week. Of course, number two pickup, Injustice. Definite, definite pickups. So, yeah, that's what I totally feel about this week. Gotta get Guardians of the Galaxy number one. It's definitely what to be looking for. And now, let's look at what next week is going to bring us. Next week, it's going to be a big one for the beginning of March. We're going to have the Age of Ultron is finally upon us. Oh, shoot. Age of Ultron. That's going to be crazy. And this we also have Avengers number 7, which is going to bring in a new storyline, at least, into the Avengers plot, evolving around Captain Universe and all these other characters we just were introduced to. And now, we have Iron Man number 7, we're going to see how this actually interacts with the aftermath of Avengers vs. X-Men. The next three issues are going to all interact, sorry, there's just something annoying me on my computer screen. Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to this, this should be a really good issue. All... I think Age of Ultron is definitely going to be the number one of next week. I will predict that right now. Very excited. I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic from where the story part is. All next week is Marvel. DC really doesn't have anything coming out for it that I'm really interested in. However, the next week after, we're going to have a good one. Constantine, number one. Okay. So I'll check you guys out later. Thanks for watching. Check the previous out ones below. Talk about what you feel like was the best comment of the week. Tell me some stuff that you may have picked up that you feel like I should have. That again, I I pick up the stuff I feel like I really want to pick up. So I know Batman Incorporated number 8 came out today. And I heard that's a big issue because of the cover. <laughs> but all points aside, I... I really don't care about it because I really don't care about Grant Morrison's writing. Yeah, still not a big fan. So, check you guys out later.